Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Greetings of peace, mercy, and blessings. Welcome to another Science Amazing Adventure, where the search for the truth continues. Hang on tight, for we will answer your what, why, and how questions. Let us discover the beauty of the world together. For in the great minds of young scientists like you, learning never stops. Let me take you where your imaginations will allow you to go. This is your science teacher, Teacher Aina, your guide in exploring and discovering the world of science for. A terrific morning, my dear young scientists. How are you today? Very good. I am happy that you are all doing fine. In our previous episode, we learned that our environment undergoes changes, and these changes can either be harmful and useful. For today's episode, we shall learn more on identifying changes in the environment that are useful and harmful. Get ready, young scientists. Prepare your PPS, pen, paper, and self-learning module, for you will be using them in our science adventure. Young scientists, our world constantly changes. It undergoes physical and chemical changes. These changes may have good and bad effects in our environment. Study the first picture on the screen. Young scientists, what do you see in the picture? Correct! Picture of frozen products. Young scientists, why are those products frozen? That's right! To keep or preserve the freshness of the food we buy. What is the process involved when you want to preserve the freshness of the food you buy? Very good! Freezing! Study the second picture on the screen. Young scientists, what do you see in the picture? Correct! It is a picture of different chemicals dumped or improperly thrown in a place. How do these chemicals affect our environment? That's right! It can cause pollution. How can pollution affect us? Correct! It can cause different kinds of diseases. Young scientists, before we proceed to today's lesson, let us try to recall our lesson from the previous episode. To do this, let's ask for help from our friend, Tech Machino. Please help us to recall our lesson from the previous episode. Pollution changes the environment. Young scientists, let's find out what kinds of pollution are the following. When garbage like plastics and other types of waste are dumped on a piece of land, it becomes polluted. This kind of pollution is called land pollution. Things that cause pollution like garbage are called pollutants. How about this place? What do you think is the kind of pollution that happens in this environment? Brilliant! It's water pollution. The pollutants are the garbage and used detergent. The river becomes polluted because of the pollutants, which are harmful to fishes that will destroy their habitat. Let's move to the other place. Wow! 
The place is clean. There is no garbage scattered around. But where is the smoke coming from? Oh no! They are burning their garbage! Do you know that burning of garbage such as plastics is harmful to our environment? Yes, it releases dangerous toxic materials and when mixed with the air we breathe, it becomes harmful to us and the environment. When the surrounding air is blanketed with smoke, ashes and other dust particles, the air becomes polluted. This kind of pollution is called air pollution. You have just learned that there are three kinds of pollution. Land pollution, water pollution, and air pollution. Thank you so much, Tech Machino. Young scientists, today we shall learn more on identifying changes in the environment that are useful and harmful. As what I have said a while ago, our world constantly changes. It undergoes physical and chemical changes. Oftentimes, these changes are caused by human activities and they may have good and bad effects on the environment. In our previous lesson, we learned that physical change is a change that takes place only in the appearance of material, while its composition remains the same. And chemical change is a change when a new material is formed. How do these physical changes and chemical changes become useful? Let's check out these pictures. Picture 1 shows tin cans, different kinds of kitchen utensils, and toys. How are the materials of these different items made? Tin cans, kitchen utensils, and toys are molded by means of melting. Melting is a physical process that changes something solid to liquid through heating. Through this process, we are able to make useful things that make our work easier. Young scientists, Picture 2 shows the water cycle. Why is the water cycle a useful process in our daily lives? The important processes involved in the water cycle are evaporation and condensation. These processes are examples of physical change. Through this, water from all areas on Earth are recycled. Evaporation is the process by which water changes into gas and condensation occurs when heat is removed from water vapor. Young scientists, picture 3 shows pictures of milk, biscuits, cheese, clothes, and paper. The products in the picture make use of chemical change in order to manufacture them. Chemical change occurs in making milk, biscuits, cheese, clothes, and paper. Through the use of chemical change, important products are manufactured in order to meet the needs of the people. Young scientists, we know that the changes that happen in our environment are not always good. There are also negative or harmful effects that are brought about by physical and chemical change in our environment. Let's check out these pictures. Picture 4 shows a picture of trees being cut. How does the cutting of trees affect our environment? The uncontrolled cutting of trees results in deforestation. Because of deforestation, wildlife may become endangered and extinct, and flash floods may occur in the lowlands and landslides in the mountain areas. Young scientists, do you know what climate change is and how it affects our Mother Earth? Climate change is the change in weather patterns. It means a change in the average conditions of temperature, seawater level, and rainfall over a long period of time. Do you know why climate change happens? 
Climate change is usually a result of human activities like the conversion of land. Mountains and forests are denuded. Agricultural lands are converted into industrial and residential areas. This is because of the growing population of the earth. In order to support the needs and wants of the people, our environment is sacrificed. Moreover, chemical change like the burning of fossil fuels, smoke from factories and vehicles lead to the increase of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor. These greenhouse gases trap heat. They let the sunlight pass through the Earth's atmosphere, but prevents the heat from escaping into the atmosphere. The heat is trapped in our atmosphere, resulting in global warming. Young scientists, do you know how global warming affects us today? Global warming can lead to increased heat and droughts, insect outbreaks, a decline in water supply, reduced agricultural products, or pandemics. My dear young scientists, the harmful changes that happen in our environment do not affect our environment alone. All living things, including humans, are affected too. How are humans affected? To find that out, I want you to come with me and let's visit a place. So, come on, let's go! So, here we are. What is this place? That's right, we are here in the hospital. What do you see here? Very good! We see many sick people, nurses, and doctors. Why do you think people get sick? Correct! That is because of our dirty environment, because of pollution. Pollution is the presence of harmful materials or substances that contaminate the land, soil, and water. So, what do you think are the diseases that are caused by pollution? Air pollution can cause different skin diseases. It may also cause asthma and other respiratory diseases. Water pollution may cause us to have diarrhea, amobiasis, typhoid fever, and cholera. Soil pollution may cause us to have different diseases like asthma, cancer, and other related diseases when the soil is exposed or contaminated with harmful chemicals. So, my dear young scientists, now you see how much harm to our environment we have caused because of our human activities. These harmful effects are the changes that happen in our environment today and they do not affect our environment alone, but all living and non-living things. Young scientists, upon hearing the useful and harmful effects of our human activities on our environment, how are you feeling now? That's right! You feel happy because of the many useful things we are enjoying. But somehow, you feel sad because of the harmful effects to our environment that we have also caused. So now, let's make a change. Let's change for the better. So, let's have our activity. This is entitled, Let's Change for the Better. I have with me a box. I call this box as my mystery box because in this box, you can find whatever things you have on your mind. Inside my mystery box are different virtual pictures of the changes that happen in a material or in the environment. I'll pick one picture at a time and you are going to identify the benefits of the changes in the material or in the environment. Write your answers in your activity notebook in science. So, let's have picture number one. It shows the planting of trees. Is this change useful to our environment? Very good! Planting more trees is very useful. It would help us remove harmful substances present in the air. It reduces air pollution. It reduces floods 
as the roots seep water. It also helps in avoiding soil erosion because the roots hold the soil. Okay, picture number two is about the recycling of bottles. Young scientists, what are the benefits we can get from recycling bottles? Very good! Recycling of plastic bottles will help us preserve our natural resources. Oh, this is a picture of a man cleaning the canal. Young scientists, is this change useful? What are the benefits of cleaning the canal? Very good! Cleaning the canal will help us to keep away from diseases like malaria and dengue. Wow! Amazing young scientists! I will give you 5 stars for doing well in our activity today. My dear young scientists, we know that our environment undergoes physical and chemical changes. Some of these changes are harmful to our environment. As young as you are, you need to know how to counteract the harmful effects of these changes and maximize the useful effects of these changes. So, to check your understanding, give your action or response to a given situation. Write your answers on your science activity sheets. Situation number one. Rusting of metals is one of the bad effects of chemical change. The window grills of your house are rusting. How are you going to prevent it? Great! That's correct! In order to prevent the window grills from rusting, you need to apply a protective coating like paint. Situation number 2 the burning of a candle is an example of physical change. The candle wax melts as it burns, so it changes from solid to liquid. How are you going to maximize the effect of this physical change? Very good! You can recycle the melted candle wax instead of throwing it away. You did well again! So, that will be another 5 stars for all of you! Today, in our lesson in this episode, we learned that our environment undergoes physical and chemical changes. These changes can either be useful or harmful. Changes can be useful if they add value or if they have good effect, not only on us humans but on our environment as well. Changes can be harmful if they cause damage or harm to our environment and other living and non-living things. As a person living in this planet, we should be responsible for our actions. We support our needs from nature's resources and in return, we need to take care of the nature around us that provides us with what we need. Let us minimize or avoid the harmful effects and maximize the useful effects of our human activities that cause changes in our environment. Always remember, my dear young scientists, that it is our responsibility to take care of our environment. Write yes if the situation has good or useful effects and no if it has bad or harmful effects on our environment. Write your answers in your activity notebook in science. Number 1. Selling of empty bottles of soy sauce and vinegar. The correct answer is yes, it has a good effect on our environment. Number 2. Throwing dead animals in the river. The correct answer is no. It has a bad effect on our environment. It can cause water pollution. Number 3. Burning of garbage. The correct answer is no. 
It has a harmful effect on our environment. It can cause air pollution. Number 4. Making doormats using old socks and strips of clothes. The correct answer is yes, it has a good effect on our environment. It is one way to lessen the garbage thrown in our landfills. Number 5. Planting trees and flowers in the backyard. The correct answer is yes, it has a good effect on our environment. It beautifies our surroundings and provides shade and fresh air. Great job, young scientists! You got all the correct answers. That is because you gave 100% of your attention in our science class episode today. Young scientists, you have taken part in another learning session today by tuning in to our science adventure. I hope we answered your what, why, and how questions. For in the great minds of young scientists like you, learning never stops. Follow your imaginations wherever it allows you to go. Once again, this is your science teacher, Teacher Aina. Remember, science is full of discoveries. Continue to search for the truth. Don't forget to follow our official DepEd TV YouTube channel and Facebook page so you can watch your lessons anytime, anywhere. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Wassalam!